Hello everyone. In this video, we will do some examples for improper integrals of the type that has discontinuous uh, integral. Well, first in the integral is integral of secant from 0 to pi over 2. So my function is secant x. And when you look at the interval, it is continuous on all the points actually including zero up to pi over two remember secant is one over cosine and cosine at pi over two is zero so pi over two is not in the domain not at pi over two okay so that means that the integral is is improper is an improper integral and we have to work with it very carefully so here we go from 0 to t first and then find t uh, a limit of t as t goes to pi over 2 from the left hand side so secant of x dx we know that the antiderivative of secant is ln of secant x plus tan x. And we are going from 0 to t when we let t goes to pi over 2 from the left. Okay, so this way what we have here is basically um, when we plug in secant of t plus tan of t as t goes to pi over to negative and minus when I plug in zero well tan of zero is just zero yes and secant is 1. So this will be ln of 1, which itself is 0. Now, as t goes to pi over 2, secant from the left, secant t will go to plus infinity. And uh, tan t will go plus infinity. So in other words, the, as t goes to pi over 2 then secant t plus tan t will go to plus infinity and ln of plus infinity is plus infinity okay you can look at the graphs but that's what it will give you so that means that this guy here is divergent it doesn't have any good good value okay the second example is integral of 1 over root of 1 minus x squared so this is defined on um well this is just let's compare it to, to what we have there so it is uh defined uh, everywhere on the interval of the integration but negative one so continues uh on this guy so continues on this but not at negative okay so that means that the integral is improper and what we do we have to uh, go first up from t, t to zero and then find limit of t as t goes to negative one from the right well uh what is the antiderivative of one over root one minus x squared so here you can use uh the table or use substitution but at the end you will get something like sine inverse of x go from t to zero and sine inverse of 0 is 0 minus sine inverse of t as t goes to negative 1 from the right 
but we know that sine inverse of sine inverse on the defined domain is continuous so that means that sine this will be sine inverse of zero minus sine inverse of negative one and sine inverse of negative one is pi negative pi over two so zero minus negative pi over two which is just pi over two so the the integral is convergent And its value is given by whatever we found down there. In proper integrals, always you have to make sure that the function is continuous on the domain. If it is not, you have to break it into a limit and integral. Improper integrals are a limit and an integral.